Welcome back everyone and thanks a lot for staying with us. Bill Cosby is a free man, at least for now. With the jury and his sexual assault trial hopelessly deadlocked, the judge declared a mistrial. The famed comedian didn't speak after the trial, but as he looked on, his spokesperson said, quote, Mr. Cosby's power is back. Meanwhile, the district attorney says his office will press on with a new trial. All right, thank you. There would be no sense of closure at the end of the sensational sexual assault trial of Bill Cosby. The judge declared a mistrial after the jurors reported they were hopelessly deadlocked on their sixth day of deliberations. Whenever you have a case like this, um, uh, where it's a, in a sense, a he said, she said situation, they're the only two witnesses there. University of Pennsylvania criminal law professor David Rudofsky. Uh, she gives a very credible story. Um, uh, through cross-examination, though, uh, the defense is able to show that she did certain things that might be inconsistent with what she said on the witness stand. Uh, those are the things that sometimes give jurors a uh, significant pause. Jurors were unable to reach a unanimous vote in the case in which accuser Andrea Constan, a former Temple University employee, claimed Cosby, once known as America's TV dad, drugged and sexually assaulted her at his home in 2004. It's an old case. Um, uh, many years ago, uh, raises questions about why there was a delay in the prosecution. Uh, and fundamentally, I think what the defense was able to do was to call into question Ms. Constant's contact uh, with, with uh, Mr. Cosby uh, after the alleged sexual assault. Uh, why would you continue to have contacts uh, with a person who assaulted you? This is about Andrea Constant and inconsistencies in her story. Cosby's spokesman, Andrew Wyatt. Mr. Cosby, power is back. It's back. It has been restored. District Attorney Kevin Steele immediately announced he'll try Cosby again. She's entitled to a verdict in this case, and the citizens of Montgomery County, um, where this crime occurred, are entitled uh, to a verdict. Reassuring news to Victoria Valentino, one of some 60 women accusing Cosby of sexual offenses. Justice for Andrea would have been justice for all of us. I will keep speaking out until I have no breath. But in the end, Professor Rudofsky says there will be little reprieve for Bill Cosby. He's now got to face another trial. Uh, he's an elderly guy. He's not in good health. Um, you know, his reputation, at least from my perspective, has already been seriously, seriously damaged. Uh, the fact that so many women uh, complained about him have for a lot of people put it in their minds that he probably did something wrong. Uh, was it criminal wrong? Uh, was it just immoral? Uh, you know, uh, it divides people. But he's now got to face perhaps the rest of his life in prison. Uh, that's a difficult situation, uh, but that's where we are at this point. All right, Robert Bianchi, former prosecutor and partner at the Bianchi Law Group, is here with me now to talk about where this case goes from here. And you said I can call you Bob, right? Yeah, that's great. All right, thanks a lot for being with us. Uh, so you have this high-profile case that the district attorney wants to retry again. Any problems ahead with that? It, uh, the inertia is against the prosecution at this point. There's no way you want to try a case a second time. Now, there's transcripts of the witness's testimony that can be used in cross-examination to attack the credibility of witnesses. So the ball is rolling downhill against them. It doesn't mean they can't succeed, but it makes it very, very difficult. You can almost see it on the face of the district attorney when he gave that press conference yesterday. But is this the reason that the former district attorney refused to try the case? A while back, is it sort of given him some credibility? Well, it would concern me is that this begin with? yeah, that it shouldn't be a political issue, and it seemed very political in terms of what he was saying. So the case wasn't brought for a very long time. That's something that's clearly going to be in the jurors' minds. There's no evidence to support a lot of what it is that the victim, quote unquote, victim in this case is saying. So the prosecutor's making this decision, I thought, very prematurely and quickly, uh, more for media purposes in the pu court of public opinion as opposed to court of law. I would like to sit down and find out if I can what exactly went wrong with this case. So what does it say when the prosecutor presented their side uh, for about four or five days? The defense argued for six minutes. The jury deliberates for six days. Right. Longer than the trial last year. Yeah, this jury uh, clearly didn't get the facts. I mean, not that they didn't get it, but they were asking for factual testimony to be read back, law to be read back, reasonable doubt to be read back. I mean, they did their job, but it was clear that they weren't convinced based upon the many inconsistencies brought out by the defense that the case was proven beyond a reasonable doubt. 
And the uh, spokesperson, Andrew Wyatt for uh, Cosby, uh, sort of got ridiculed by the judge for claiming victory and, and calling this a win uh, early on before the decision to uh, declare this as a mistrial. Uh, is that a bad step for Cosby's defense team to be saying, okay, you know what, we won. This is a win for us. Well, anytime you can keep your client from being behind bars, it is a win. So in a certain sense, there is no doubt about that that is the attitude of the defense. But you got to watch out the statements, extrajudicial statements they call out in the court of public opinion. I personally wouldn't do it. I think it's it's insulting. It actually puts the prosecutor in a place where they're more agitated, and you don't want the prosecutor more agitated. You want to work this case out. How much of this, in your opinion, do you think this was an effort to sort of go after him with this one case with Andrea Constan and sort of include, even though they couldn't bring all of the yeah. accusers, they brought one, Kelly Johnson, but how much of this do you think was sort of a, 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 a conclusion of trying to at all of these women and get a victory and get vindicated with one case and it just didn't work out. Yeah, well, I, I think there's a lot to that. But in the court of public opinion, that's fine, but not in a court of criminal law. You can't be bringing all these extraneous issues in. It's violative of the evidence rules. And if Cosby had been convicted here because of that one other person that was allowed to testify, I'm pretty confident that the case would have been reversed because it's not a trial about character assassination. It's a trial about Miss Constat that night and what happened on that night. And you just can't keep moving the goal post closer to the ball, I like to say, because the prosecutor can't get the ball over the goal line for a conviction. So there's a lot of evidential issues in this case, and to me, the attempt by the prosecutor to include more women in this, potentially, down the road, is going to cause a reversal. And again, it's because they don't have sufficient evidence that they even attempted to do it in the first place by putting other witnesses on. So will this have any type of impact on the civil case that's in California? No, I don't think it's going to have any impact uh, other than you're getting more testimony from the witnesses that Cosby's team is going to be allowed to use to cross-examine those witnesses. And, of course, remember, in a civil case, the standard of proof is much different. It's not much unlike the O.J. case. He was found not guilty because they couldn't prove the case beyond a reasonable doubt, mm -hmm. but they went into a civil court where the standard is much lower, preponderance of the evidence, which means just slightly over 50 percent, and they were able to secure in the O.J. case, and they very well may hear uh, by the same very evidence that he would be responsible. But defamation cases are very difficult to prove. You have to prove, one, in this particular case, that he did, in fact, sexually assault them. And then protected speech is very, very difficult in a defamation case. So I think they're going to have a rough road in the civil cases. But Cosby is going to go through the mill. All right, Robert Bianchi, a.k.a. Bob. Yeah. I can call you Bob, and you're always welcome back to come here. Thank you very much Appreciate for your it. Thank insight. you.